In this tutorial, we will be looking at the equation and graph of the conic section created by a plane at an angle to the axis of the cone, also known as an ellipse. First, let's look at how the ellipse is generated in reference to the double-napped cone. A plane at an angle anywhere along the double-napped cone will create an ellipse. As we move the plane vertically, we can see the size of the ellipse changes. Now, let's look at the equation of the ellipse. It is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. The following has an origin of 0, 0. A more useful equation of the ellipse looks like this, where h and k are the origin of the ellipse. This equation allows us to work with ellipses regardless of where the origin is. a represents the distance horizontally from the origin to the edge of the ellipse. B represents the distance vertically from the origin to the edge of the ellipse. Here is an equation of an ellipse. From this, we will determine the origin and graph the ellipse. First, if we compare this to our standard form of the equation, we see that h and k are 2 and 3, which means that the origin is at x equals 2 and y equals 3. Next, we see that a equals 3 and b equals 2. To start the graph, draw a point at the origin. Next, find the left and right points of the ellipse by using the distance a, which was 3, and counting out from the origin. Now that we have these, do the same thing vertically. b was 2, so we count up 2 and down 2 from the origin. Now that we have 4 points, we can draw the ellipse. Take a look at the following questions and attempt each. Press pause, and when you're ready for the solution, press play. Determine the origin and values of a and b from the following equation. By comparing to the standard form of the equation, we can see that our origin is at the point 4, negative 2, and that a equals 5 and b equals 3. Next, draw an ellipse from the following equation. Looking at the equation, we can see that the origin of the ellipse is at negative 1, 2. And we can draw a point for this. a equals 1, so we draw our horizontal edges of the ellipse by going out by 1 on each side of the and drawing a point. Finally, we can draw the upper and lower points of the ellipse by using the value of b, which is 5. Count up and down from the origin by 5 and mark the points then draw your ellipse. Last, write the equation of the following ellipse. First, find the origin of the ellipse. We see that it is at the point 2, 1. Draw this point in to help with getting the values of a and b. Now, count out from the origin to the right edge to get 4, which is our value for a. We could have also counted to the left to get this value. Next, count up from the origin to get the value of 2 for b. Now write out the equation. Start with the standard form, then begin filling in the values. We can replace h and k with 2 and 1. Then replace a with 4 and b with 2. Now we have the equation of the ellipse. In this lesson, you learned about the equation and graphs of the conic section generated by a plane at an angle to the axis, also known as an ellipse. That the equation of this can be written like this, where the origin of the ellipse is at hk and the horizontal and vertical distances from the origin to the edge of the ellipse are represented by a and b. The ellipse can also be graphed using this information.